what's up with the squad? Back with another video. I already know what's going down. Make sure y'all hit the like button, subscribe button. Make sure y'all go check out Doug X out. Description box down below. Y'all seeing the title. Let's get in this video. Calls for her to step down are rising. Will she step down? Welcome to Doug in Exile. I'm Doug. I'm the creator of Earthworm Jim, Nickelodeon's Cat Scratch, and now I do the news as entertainment. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Thanks for joining us. Let's go. Calls continue for both Willis and Wade to recuse themselves from prosecuting former President Trump and his 18 co-defendants, with some of those charged calling for the case to be thrown out entirely. One of those people is the former president. Well, yeah, it's kind of obvious Trump would want the whole case dismissed. The judge today ruled that he wants to wait for an evidentiary hearing to take place on January the 31st into the Nathan Wade divorce case, and then he'll make a decision. This delay is also the best news for Trump. The farther back he can push this, the better. So this was an unforced error by Fannie Willis. Well, I think this is a logical decision by the court. He's just basically <clears throat> freezing the action until he gets all the evidence in front of him. Uh, but the damage is already done for Willis. This is already set in cement. She can't take this back. She's already put this dirt clod on a wedding dress. And in many ways, she's really magnifying that damage uh, with her move. She filed uh, a, a motion before the court mm -hmm that attacked the estranged wife of her alleged lover as an adulterer and a political conspirator. It was the worst possible tact that she could have taken. I mean, she could have just said, I'm not relevant. It could, she could have said, a deposition is not needed. And instead, she did this full-on attack. And that only raises further questions. Now she's got everyone curious. Well, what are you hiding? These are questions you do not want if you're trying to keep the magnifying glass on Trump and what he did. Everyone's obsessed with Fannie Willis now. She just became the star of this thing. But she compounded that afterwards uh, in, in her response. It's clear that Mr. Wade and Willis herself are undermining the case for her office. And so she's putting their interests ahead of the office. That's the very thing that conflict of interest rules are meant to avoid. Now, when you take a look at it, the Big Bethel AME Church the other Sunday, she claimed this was all about racism. Now she's saying it's a big Trump conspiracy. So, so which is it? To Fannie Willis, she's like, it's neither or both. She doesn't care. She'll just throw anything against the wall thinking this is how a lot of this works. You just call someone a racist and it's the end of the argument or it's the end of the debate. Because she know a lot of people are gonna soak that BS up. That's what that is. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. We got our Frenchie next to us. Sometimes he mess with my allergies, sometimes he don't. But I guess today he is a little bit. But she know that some people is going to listen to that BS. That's 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 for real. Just think about that. As soon, soon as you say you call somebody the R word and you spread that out there and you, you know, people know you and you up. Man, what? That's right. Especially the people that like you. Or you just say this is a conspiracy. This is a Trump conspiracy. And everyone says, oh, well, we better fold up our chairs and go. It doesn't work that way now because they've got receipts on her. Hmm. And instead, she went to this conspiratorial argument and she's called anyone raising these questions racist. Well, there are experts on both the left and the right who've said that she and Wade should recuse themselves. And in many ways, it's ironic, right? She accused Trump of not listening to the legal experts about the law and the election. Uh, she's doing the same thing. I mean, the, you have an overwhelming view that this conflict of interest is undermining the case. Whenever that view comes to the forefront, a pro most prosecutors would say, all right, I need to take myself out of this equation to protect the interest of my office. Fannie Willis is Trump's greatest hope. She is going to end up helping him. He might as well have hired her to be his defense attorney. She's helping him so much. Instead, she's calling everyone racists and political conspirators, which is not helping her case. <laughs> And remember, she changed her story. When she was in that Ebenezer church, it was all racism. She didn't bring any of this stuff up. Well, new accusations are coming out now where Fannie Wells is trying to say, no, no, uh, Nathan Wade's wife originally had an affair. It's her fault. And this is a conspiracy. She's conspiring, conspiring with Trump. 
it's that she didn't say that back at the Ebenezer Church. So this is a brand new thing that she made up. Mm -hmm. But for Willis, it's a much more serious problem. The Department of Justice has prosecuted people who've accepted airplane tickets as alleged kickbacks. But this still remains an office under her direction. And the question is how much damage she has done and she is doing with with this campaign of hers uh, to try to retain control. Calls are growing for Fulton County, Georgia District Attorney Fonnie Willis to step down from the election interference case against former President Trump. I mean, can she do the job with all that's going on? No, she can't do the job with all that's going on. Man, y'all know the answer I'm about to give y'all. And it ain't got nothing to do with no stepping down. It needs to be hit harder than this, I think. It needs to be hit harder. Not just her stepping down. Cause just think about everything. Just just think about that. Maybe I shouldn't say that out loud. Maybe I, you know. And that's why I want her to stay. Fanny Willis, please don't recuse yourself. Don't step down. This is the best favor you could do for Trump. Thank you. Here's Trump's lawyer, Alina Haba. I think there's a general concern in this country right now, and, and this sheds light on that. We're appointing these individuals to positions of power where they have access to taxpayer money, and they're selecting cases to become more famous, not do the right thing. And then we see this slew of corruption that eventually comes down, including this story. But that is a, a big tell and kind of a hint at where I'm going with this. I think this plays into the whole motive for why Fannie Willis got involved. It was to make money and to get famous. I think that the case is, if it hasn't gone off the rails already, it's about to. Um, and I don't see, I don't see anything good coming from her staying in charge of the case at this point. That it very much plays to Donald Trump's benefit because it's such a soap opera. Like right when you think politics can't so get any true. crazier, then this stuff happens. And, it, and I think it sort of undermines and reminds people that everywhere you have these highly partisan charges against Donald Trump, whether it's uh, Fulton County or, or New York City or Washington, D.C., they're some of the most lawless places. And this just adds a whole veneer of sort of grossness to it that I think uh, kind of helps him in his political argument that these are partisan charges. The worse Fannie Willis looks, the better Trump looks by comparison. And he has said she's corrupt. He's called these people corrupt. And now it literally comes out and they're- Because when you know, when you know when you know something about somebody and how they are, you can just tell by somebody's demeanor. You can tell by somebody's actions of what they do. You can just tell how corrupt you know a person can be off bat, especially when you're a person like like Trump is. I mean, that's that's just being they're one. They're corrupt. It ends up verifying what he said and undermines what they said. They're these darling little angels that just want to support the rule of law and our pro-America and constitution and democracy, and it's BS. Meanwhile, you know, it's not like Atlanta is the safest place to walk around at night. It's not like there is, aren't oh, they have other plenty crimes they could going be doing. on in Atlanta. And, but this is their focus. And again, you know, it, it goes back to the, the, the political argument that, that Donald Trump makes, which is this is all partisan. This has nothing to do with law and order. They could be doing their jobs and making the streets safe, but that's not why they were appointed. They were appointed to interfere with elections. Now, I propose that Fannie Willis only took this case and knew that by taking this case under Trump, that she'd have lots of room to make even more money without oversight because she was working with the White House, that she thought with all of these powerful allies, it made her even more spendy and more corrupt because she thought she'd get cover from the media, and she does, and to some degree from her fellow Democrats. Now let's go to Liberal, The Nation magazine says, the Fannie Willis scandal is bad, but it doesn't change her case against Trump. No, actually it does, because her case against Trump was just to make money and enrich her and her boyfriend where she knew she'd be able to get away with it. And by the way, here's another liberal outlet, Axios, that disagrees with the nation. But that's what I'm talking about just like the last video. This is what, this is what happens when you try to put something out 
to get that audience to still believe BS. This is exactly what I'm talking about. You put stuff out like this to to get in their heads like, oh, okay, this is this this it, the show still goes on. Man, no. Look what happened. Be real. Like I can't, man. People so in denial. Well, about Fannie it. Willis' Sad. allegations could affect Trump's Georgia election case. There's tons of ways she's in trouble. This is good news for Trump. I'm Doug. Man, y'all already know what's going down. I know a lot of y'all probably like, hey, uh, we don't want her to step down. We want her to get. Y'all already know. Make sure y'all comment down below. Let it be known what's going on, y'all. Y'all know I can't speak that much. Hit the like button, subscribe. I definitely appreciate y'all. Catch y'all next one.